So now uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is it's great to have it like this, but sometimes you want to have your columns be turned into rows. So I've got, for example, let me go over to this next tab. So what we're looking at here is I've got four manufacturer part numbers in this row right here, but I don't want it to be four different columns. Instead, I would like it to be four rows referencing the same, um, the same line item. And so what I'm going to do is I want to convert this into rows. Um, there's a couple different ways to do it, but what we're going to look at here is um, just using a very simple method of copying and pasting so that it just shifts everything down. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create some kind of reference to these lines. So I'm going to insert the column over here, and I'm going to say that this is my line item number. I'm just going to put one, two, three. And again, using the same concept as before, if I highlight this and I put my cursor on the bottom right, it gives me those black crosshairs. I double click, it just copies that all the way down. So I've got one through nine now consecutively numbered. Once I got those numbers, what I can do is now I've got a reference to my cells. So I'm going to copy all of this and just paste it at the bottom again. Okay. And I'm actually going to do that multiple times. So I'm going to copy and paste and copy and paste. Okay. So now I've copied and pasted it multiple times. And what I want to do now is I want to shift these cells left. So I'm going to say highlight this, right click, and delete. And it gives me an option here. It says, do you want to shift the cells left, up, delete the entire row, or delete the entire column? I want to shift them left. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the values over here that are in the MPN2 column and move them left. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. And you can see now I've got my MPN2 in the same column as MPN1. I'm going to do the same thing further down. So I'm going to shift 2 to the left now. So I'm going to right click, delete, click OK. Now it's shifted 2 to the left. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I've got three to the left. And shift to the left. There we go. OK. And now all of these are duplicates. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. And this is no longer my MPN1 column. It's just my MPN column. OK. Now you might be thinking to yourself here, well, I've got all these blank spaces. What am I supposed to do with that, plus all these rows? So what we're going to do is we're just going to apply a really basic filter here. And so I'm going to select all of my data here. And once I select it, I'm going to put in a filter. So I'm going to say filter. And over here, I'm going to select, let's see. Why is my filter not working? Oh, that's strange. Oh, you know what? That might be because. Give me one second. Here we go. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to filter for things like MPN1 or MPN2 or so on. So showing up on a different monitor for me is I think what the problem is. And it's Okay, so let me see if I can drag this up. Okay, there we go. So this is what it looks like when you click the filter. And what I want to do is I want to filter for blanks, which I'm going to want to remove, and I'm going to filter for these column header rows. Okay, so now I've got those filters. I'm going to click close. And all I have to do now is highlight all of these rows, right click, and delete the row. And then I'll just remove the filter. And there we go. Now I've got my bill of material with no blank spaces. My final step is going to be to bring all those part numbers together again. So I'm going to sort this uh, by the line item. And I'm going to say sort it ascending. And there we go. Now I've got line item one right here with the three part numbers. And I've got line item two together. And I've got line item three together and four and so on. OK. Again, um, if you have any questions about this, feel free to use the Q&A, the chat to ask. Otherwise, um, we're also happy to talk to you about this afterwards.